Yeah, so I know I'm basically going to be a vlog update. Just my camera up there. I'm basically going to do a vlog update on recent events. First of all, on Friday, I actually had been uh, arrested um, and then locked up for a while because um, I got upset and hurt from all the uh, intimidation and verbal abuse I got in town and as well as the rejection of feeling um, rejected and that was also quite about two, two, actually two weeks ago two weeks ago um, I went to Dylan's store, the one that actually banned me from the store against discrimination and I just kicked his sign down the road, the alleyway where I live and a car rode over the sign and I got arrested for that um, pathetic really and I just found it strange that uh, uh, the cops came to my place to arrest me um, two weeks after that and um, obviously there's a conspiracy around um, particularly with my friend who's having had a, having problems with her, um, it, her well the, the, the person that she was with um, and I think it was a setup. Uh, I was framed for a while um, about that. So yeah, that's over. But what I'm going to say as well is, um, particularly this incident where my friend actually has security cameras uh, around her flat because people are trying to break in and they're getting in through many keys and all that and. Uh, and she's rather um, distressed and all that about that and I've been um, there for her um, and uh, she's been there for me as well with my issues which I'm having where um, I have my issues with people discriminating me because of where I am um, with Facebook removing my artwork and then blocking me because they don't like my artwork and things like that um, she's been there for me with that where um, kind of motivated me in life a little where I just basically just went to sleep and I just didn't want to wake up um, hoping that I would um, wake up um, you know on the, some planet far away you know, Nanya's planet and all that so um, what I'm saying is, with the camera setup that she has, she had told me an incredible story what she had captured on camera. Unfortunately, um, she has no recording equipment attached to the camera, and um, and it's a very interesting thing what she actually observed in the camera, and it would have been actually something really. Um, of fantastic evidence of extraterrestrials if she had the recording equipment. Um, one night um, she was there and um, she saw this ball of light um, just like I mentioned with the you know the orbs uh, that they're like kinos on um, what do you call it? Uh, Stargate Universe. But these are all photons. And, um, well, basically, this was captured on the um, the camera. And apparently, there's a very much a similar video out there on YouTube. But it's just, you know, mass of light, and that's it. Well, what she saw was pretty much interesting on the camera. Um, what actually happened was that this ball of light was appeared on the camera and then out of the ball of light um it started to it started to form a shape of a uh, a person but um not your normal earth based person but your you know regular extraterrestrial um shape with a four foot size body and a largish head um as if the the photons were actually materializing into a um a, a, um 
a physical form, which means it's part of uh, what I could say is like, you know, like a Star Trek teleporter. Um, photons are very much like um, the key to actually uh, teleportation. And I think this was sort of like a teleporting device that she'd actually watched and observed on camera, on the security cameras uh, outside her um, home. And um, it materialised into a figure and she could see the figure. Um, she didn't really go much detail on the figure with the hair and all that. But the basic um, um, description that she gave um, was that the figure was four feet tall. Um, it was glowing, but that slowly, but as it became um, or uh, materialized as matter from being teleported, um, it's the light faded, and um, then she saw the eyes, slanty eyes. She said they're like my eyes, and um, and then um, she then. Um, said um, uh, and then she said um, um, yeah and she actually w saw this thing on the phone uh, on the on the on the camera and and then the motion sensor started bleeping actually um, when the the uh, the character was materializing out of the photon kino ball like thing and um, she went to the door to actually meet the extraterrestrial because she knows um, uh, about my issues and stories about extraterrestrials because she wanted to have a little chat with the extraterrestrial but unfortunately the extraterrestrial probably wasn't ready for her yet um, the extraterrestrial went back into the Kino and and then it shot out of the actually went through her flat and then shot out the window to the class so um, yeah so that was pretty much an interesting um, um, experience story um, that she, she, she shared with me and um, I thought it was pretty much fascinating that she actually um, had observed this uh, on camera but unfortunately I was like you know she said that she hasn't got any recording equipment and she couldn't actually record it on CD or cassette, uh, video cassette or something like that, because that would have been fantastic evidence um, to support um, extraterrestrials. Because a lot of people, you know, don't understand extraterrestrials. They often say, "Oh, you know, because I talk about them, I believe them," which means I that is incorrect. I don't believe in them. I know they exist from my personal experiences um, she knows that they exist from her experience but she's still indoctrinated um, not indoctrinated well a mind programmed by society to say belief um, it's very much like it's very much um, a, a society thing uh, the word belief uh, in the sense not many people really truly understand the meaning of what belief is that belief is only um, agreeing with something on basis of just text and word of mouth only um, without experience um, and uh, research so um, yeah so most people who claim to believe in extraterrestrials don't actually truly don't believe in them they know they exist or they either understand they exist from basic logic um, from um, evidence of people's experiences and so on and so forth so I think I'm going to say finish off I'm going to talk with a friend on Skype and all that so much love and namaste